Hello, Chandra Jyoti, how are you? Hi, can you hear me? Am I audible? Uh, yes, uh, am I audible, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm very good. I never knew that, I, I uh, like, your name is Ruby. Uh, when oh. you told me, so I was like, okay, Ruby. So what should I call, Chandra Jyoti or Ruby? What is more comfortable? <laughs> Uh, CJ Chandra Jyoti. All right. So Chandra Jyoti. All right, Chandra Jyoti. So how's the experience now? Uh, uh, I still can't believe that I've made it uh, and that too, like with God's grace, with such a good rank. And that too in your first attempt? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. So this is all your hard work. This is all your efforts, blessing of your parents. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. All right. So, Chandu Jyoti, a few things that students will always like to know from the toppers that become something like coming from directly horse's mouth. One thing is like, how important it is to read newspapers? Right, sir. Right, sir. Okay. Uh, so, the uh, I would say that uh, reading newspapers is the most important thing to clear this examination and to read it thoroughly from cover to cover like uh, except for the local news you cannot miss anything out read even the last page of hindu which you may think is not even important there was a question on denis Ovin. i feel like many students would remember that was on the last page of hindu which uh, many aspirants don't read because uh, they think it won't ever come, right? So I feel that especially for prelims and even for mains, I feel like, you know, to uh, really uh, give your answer that X factor and, you know, to make it stand out from the rest of the students, you have to pepper in with, you know, the examples from current affairs and mains. So I feel like, uh, you know, in mains as well as in prelims, uh, newspaper reading is of utmost importance. Great. Now, another thing which these days students find very difficult, I don't know for what good reason, though I always keep uh, try like motivate them to make your own notes. They always try to get notes from somebody, get it Xerox and study it. So what is your take on it? Uh, so I feel uh, that, uh, you know, your own handwritten notes, when you know or any particular topic is the best way to you know clear this examination because at the end of the day you know you'll have very limited time before your prelims and your mains to revise the syllabus so if you want to revise at the end you have to make your own you know crisp short notes which you can revise so definitely or if not, you know, you can use the help of digital sources like Evernote. You can even, you know, co collect all your, uh, you know, co uh, current affair material on a, a website like Evernote and use that to revise very quickly at the end. Uh, that's really nice idea. And how about selection of optional? Like what is the criteria? What are the yardsticks that one should have in mind while choosing an optional? Right, sir. So I feel that optional definitely can either make or break, you know, your uh, success in this examination. So you have to be very careful when you choose the because first of all, you have to love the subject, right? There has to be a certain love for the subject that you choose as your optional. For me, history, the love was always there, right? And I can, uh, the thing about history is that I can study history for long hours without getting bored or without getting demotivated. I can grasp it easily. So I think you should choose a subject that, okay, don't look at what other toppers or other, you know, people who have clear civil services are saying, oh, this subject is scoring or it has a small syllabus. History has a huge syllabus. You know, they have that love for the subject. They are willing to go the extra mile to, you know, finish the sub uh, syllabus and really do well with this subject. So I feel that love for the subject has to be there. And, you know, you have to be interested in the subject that you can read it without getting bored, without getting demotivated. So the same books, I will tell my students for history optional. You go to any blog, the same books will be there. Read Romila right. Thapar or Upinder Singh for Ancient India, along right. with Dara Sharma. Or right. maybe go for Satish Chandra or perhaps Rizvi, Wonder That Was India. Or right. essays by Ilfan Habib for Modern India, Shekhar Bandho Padhe, Sumi Sarkar, Bipin Chandra. And uh, the latest book, Ishita Banerji Dubey for World History, Thompson. Or for that case, you can read Burns and Burns. 
or arjun dev so what do you think how far it is important to read all these books or is there some other solution uh, right sir so so i believe that uh, you know all these books definitely they have their own place they are very important however i would suggest try to keep sources limited right so even if you want to re, uh, you know gather your information and you want to make limited amount of time for you to do that if you want to clear the exam in your first or second attempt even right so stick to two basic books at the maximum and then from these books also do not stick to underlining or anything make your own short notes from these books itself so that in the end you can revise again and again great so if i ask uh, chandrajyoti to choose two books for all the four papers right sir so what uh, are those books uh, so uh, first and foremost ancient india i would say definitely open the professor upender singh's book is a great source uh, yes. and that should be your basis for the for the preparation right um uh, you can pepper you know your you know this the answers that you write for ancient india with uh, ignu notes they are yes. really good they are really sufficient and yes. i feel that they have added a lot to my preparation uh, for medieval india i stuck to satish chandra and i went for ignu notes again uh for um, modern india i uh, went for bipin chandra sekhar bandopadhyay and ignu notes again prefer right. to go online uh, there's a website self study history i uh, uh, took a note from their uh, website as well as i went for norman and low and if there was any topic i could not find information on i would google it and since i had already studied history in my graduation i had certain notes from my graduation days as well so i referred to those also from time to time and how important is to master historiography as a optional student uh historiography uh historiography is a very very important facet of uh, history optional so you know uh, historiography the study of history writing and because you're you know pursuing history as an optional you have to understand the various perspectives with which you know scholars with their own biases even you know there are different scholars from different schools of history there is the nationalist school there's the marxist school subaltern school imperialist school all these schools have their own interpretations so uh, you can't just look at history as a simple story as a narrative right and this change can be interpreted by different scholars from different viewpoints in their own ways so definitely to and since the nature of the uh, optional history as an optional has been changing now rather than focusing on narrative style of questions or rote learning they focus more on analysis based and in this analysis based style of questioning if you have you know uh, different scholars the their viewpoints it your answer automatically becomes better so a student from stephens who otherwise is basically the horse's mouth for history has qualified with history and uh, you can always be a source of inspiration for students who think history but then are like having some sort of fear because of slavers because of you know the time that it takes so how much time you think is usually, like ideally sufficient for history optional to be prepared well uh so uh, when i started my preparation for civil services i decided to split my time evenly between my general studies preparation and my history option hours would be devoted to uh, general studies preparation four hours at least would be devoted to uh, history preparation so for the first six months i think one should go for that and after that uh, one should uh, you know as you come closer to the prelims try to focus more on answer writing uh you know like learning how to you know uh, write the answer in the examination and thereafter after prelims your focus should be on revision as well as taking as many test series as possible that's really nice of you so chandrajyoti do you remember when we meet first time
Yes, yes, definitely, sir. And here I would like to add that I remember, uh, like in 2016, I met you. I had just finished my first year, and that time I had decided that I would, you know, seriously pursue uh, civil services as a career option. And uh, when I met you, I you asked me to write an answer. I still remember on Samudrago, and I wrote an answer, and it took me a long while to write it, 30 minutes. And you were the one at that time, you know, who impressed on me the importance of writing right answer it was in 30 minutes but you have to write a good answer in 7 to 10 minutes in the examination and that is a learning i took forward to my you know the year that i took off like 2018 to 2019 i kept that in mind like answer writing is important and that is something you told me first right anything else if i could contribute for your preparation uh, sir, I, sir, you also handed me the ancient uh, and medieval, early medieval India book. Yes. Uh, that uh, has a very like um, com comprehensive, yes, it's very comprehensive and the notes are crisp, right? So you can just revise it. Uh, I also sometimes, uh, you know, to collate with other sources, I did use that book and I refer to it from time to time just to add on to my notes and you know improve my the quality of my answers all right that's very really nice of you and sweet of you to say all this and uh, i'm looking forward to a very very bright officer and uh, the beauty of the thing Thank today you so much, is, sir. Jyoti, is not to sit for pre again ever <laughs> that's yes. the most dreadful thing for the students to know that ki yaar rank improve yes. karna se hai. Se yes se definitely sir so, uh, I, as far as I, I could understand today in the morning, so you are come, planning to come to Chandigarh on Tuesday or Wednesday? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm planning to come there by Wednesday. All right. Then looking forward to meet you personally as well soon. Remember yes, sir. That, definitely. Remember that cup, cup of tea story? Yes, yes. My mom also mentioned that, you know, now it's, the t it's your time to have your cup of tea with Raj, sir. All right. Then I'll be waiting for you. All right, sir. Best of luck, and I'm so very happy for you. Thank Not you. Thank you so much, sir. You. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Bye-bye.